Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this quick video I want to showcase my newly built RC boat made of carbon fiber. And before I show you the first test of my boat, uh, I wanted to quickly go over the specs and what uh, the electronics I used to build it. In case you're interested, I made a video uh, showcasing the process of how I built it uh, from scratch by myself. And uh, so I, just, I suggest you check out uh, my video, the link will be in the description. So the boat was designed to be around uh, 30 inches long, uh, which is based on an old uh, RC boat I had, which was the Aquacraft Revolt 30. Uh, and that's the only boat I have ever had other than this one which I built myself. And so I wanted to base the dimensions off of uh, that. Uh, and also the general styling of the boat is the same as the uh, the Revolt, so a standard uh, monohull uh, RC boat. And uh, so let's check out the electronics. As for the motor, I'm using the Spectrum Firma 1900 kV. Uh, I believe this is 6 pole, I'm not sure about that. But uh, anyway, so it's a 40 millimeters uh, motor. It's probably mm, more than this boat needs, but uh, I wanted to go a bit uh, overkill with this build. And uh, so yeah, it's a bit huge, but mm, it's better to have more power than too little. And as for, as for the SC, uh, once again, maybe a bit uh, overboard, but it's the Hobbywing Seeking 180 amps, uh, which I'm running at 6S. And I use uh, these uh, two uh, three uh, three thousand milliamp power six S lipos. They are very old, but uh, I know even though the electronics are quite big, I I don't push them too much uh, in this configuration. So the batteries are not, are not uh, uh, nothing special. Um, and that's also because I'm running a fairly small prop. It's a uh, thirty six millimeter, and that's honestly just because it's what was included in the kit I bought, which had all the hardware and, and the rudder and trim tabs and, and so on. I just bought a 42 millimeters propeller, which is a bit more appropriate for this size and uh, the electronics I am using. And the servo is just a standard, uh, uh, probably Chinese uh, uh, 25 kilograms uh, servo, metal gear. Uh, and yeah, as for the battery mounting solutions, I made this uh, battery plate, which is 3D printed. So most of the boat is actually 3D printed, even from the the way I made the the molds for the carbon fiber. And as you can see, it's just a 3D printed plate made of PLA in this case, uh, with just some Velcro straps. And uh, the motor mount is uh, 3d printed but it's made of carbon fiber and nylon which is a lot stronger and the motor plate itself we can see it uh, very well but it's uh, just a small uh, carbon fiber plate which was quite easy to make and uh, yeah uh, so if you want uh, as i said uh, in the build video you will see the whole process of how i made the boat starting from a 3d printed pattern which is what i have here so this is the 3d printed pattern i used to make the molds obviously it's the same shape as the final hole and yeah apart from this uh, you will see that the, in the video the boat is a bit uh, bouncy because it's not very well tuned at the moment i need to adjust the trim tabs and the strut angle a bit and also because the conditions weren't great, the water was fairly calm but still a bit choppy. So it was just uh, to, for an, in, an initial test. I hope in the future to make uh, uh, maybe a better video on some more calmer water. So with this out of the way, I will leave you to the testing video.
pobre. Próprio. Não é nada. Não, não é.